Hello students, today I will be discussing All India PMT paper 2015. The code which I will be discussing here that is code A and I will be dealing with the biology questions. So let's start with it. So now the question number 46, the root pressure develops due to. So first of all we must know what is root pressure. It is a positive hydrostatic pressure which develops in the tracheary elements of the root. So to understand the root pressure let's make this diagram here. So let's say this is a plant in which this is the shoot system where I am making the leaf. Yes, this one is the root system and to the root system the part which I have attached here that is root here, right? Now in the plant the part which I am making here that is xylem channels or you can say the tracheary elements which includes xylem vessels as well as tracheids. Now what happens from the soil, the ions, they are taken up by the root here. Yes, from the soil, the ions, the salts, they are taken up by the root here. This is an active process which requires ATP, requires energy. From the root here, then through the different cells, now these ions, they start accumulating in the xylem channels. Now due to the accumulation of ions in the xylem channels, the water potential decreases. Yes, water potential decreases. Fine. So in the soil, the water potential is more. And due to the accumulation of ions, the water potential in the xylem channels that has increased, this has led to the formation of water potential gradient. So here the water is more, here the water is less, so this has led to the formation of water potential gradient. So the water will move from high concentration to the low concentration area. So it means from the soil the water is absorbed by the plant. Yes, water is absorbed by the plant. Yes, along the concentration gradient and due to which the water starts filling in the xylem channels. Yes, Due to the water absorption on the xylem channels, they get filled with the water which forms positive hydrostatic pressure. Yes, so this positive hydrostatic pressure which is formed in the root tracheary elements, what do you call it as? This is known as root pressure. So now we have to look for the right option here. So Active pumping of the ions inside the root here resulted in the water potential gradient which in turn forms the root pressure. So it is an active process. So we will say the right answer for this question 46 is option number 2. Answer is 2 here. So now let's move on to the question number 47. Question number 47, which one is a wrong statement? So if we look into the first statement, brown algae have chlorophyll A, C and fucoxanthin, right? The brown color of the algae is due to the presence of this special type of the xanthophyll, which you call it as fucoxanthin. Archegonia, you know that the archegonia represents the female sex organ in bryophyte, pteridophyte and gymnosperms. In the case of angiosperms, the archegonia is absent. So it means the second statement is also correct. Now if we look into the fourth statement, haploid endosperm is present in gymnosperms. Yes, in the case of the gymnosperm, the endosperm is formed without fertilization, without triple fusion. 
Now, here in the case of the gymnosperm, endosperm is a pre-fertilization tissue. Yes, the function of the endosperm is performed by female gametophyte. So, it is haploid in nature. So, this one is also correct. Now, mucor has biflagellate zoospores. You know that mucor is a fungi which belongs to zygomycetes. And in the case of the zygomycetes, the zoospore formation is absent. In the mucor, there is formation of aplanospores. Aplanospores, that is the spores which are non-motile and they are formed inside the sporangia. So, we will say that in the mucor, instead of the motile spores, there is formation of aplanospores. So, this would be the wrong statement here. So, for the question number 47, the right option is option number 3. So, now let's discuss question number 48. So now let's discuss question number 48. So we have to see which of the following structure is not associated with prokaryotic cell. You know that in the case of the prokaryotes, the membrane bound organelles, they are absent. There is presence of a primitive nucleus, which you call it as nucleoid and around it, the membrane is absent. Now, first option, plasma membrane. In the prokaryotes, there is presence of only one true membrane, that is plasma membrane. So, this one is present. Now, second, the nuclear membrane is absent. Ribosomes, they are of 70S type. Mesosomes, you know that the mesosomes, they are in growth of plasma membrane. So, mesosomes, they are also present in the prokaryotes. So, the structure which is not associated with the bacteria, that is nuclear membrane. So, the right answer here is option number 2. So, now let's move on to question number 49 here. 